going on everybody uh, I am back it is Monday December 4th and uh, I took the day off yay seriously and uh, I promised a couple people I would do this review and I'm really actually pretty excited to do it this is the Edmondson Elite Boss Hog it is a war cleaver 14 inches long blade edge of eight and a half inches and the width across is at the widest point is 2.6 inches. Um, so it's pretty hefty. Um, it is a Matt Lamy design, Charlie Edmondson, who's become a really good friend of mine, really awesome guy. Can't say enough good things. The dude is just, just you know, he's really, you know, good salt of the earth people. Like just a great guy. Um, he learned everything about blade making from Matt Lamy. Matt Lamy, a lot of you guys would know, some of you guys wouldn't. Very famous bladesmith, and he's just incredible. Um, I have a couple of his blades, got a couple of blades on the way. Matt Lamy's just awesome. So Charlie got his design and um, started making these, the Boss Hog, and um, it's just absolutely incredible. The feel on this blade is just great. Maybe two pounds, two and a quarter pounds, something like that. Not sure exactly what it is, but it's very light and fast. Like I said, about 14 inches overall. Maybe 14 and a quarter overall. When Matt designed this, uh, he basically wanted to have the weight and balance capabilities, if you will, of a war cleaver, the chopping knife, with the fighting capabilities of a Bowie and uh, buoy for some of you but i say bowie boy buoy potato potato whatever no matter point is he absolutely succeeded in the design um with the way you have the uh, it's got a little swedge in there but the way you have the uh tip curvature if you will uh, you could easily thrust with this as a and, you know and obviously it's just a great chopper um uh, any camping you know, I do, some of you know, I do the Civil War competition shooting, so we go out, basically it's a weekend, sometimes a week of camping, drinking and shooting guns, and it's just wonderful. Um, anybody, NSSA, anybody wants to get into it, it's wonderful. But, we go camping, is what we do. So, I'm going to plan to take this with me every time from now on. Great to chop firewood, really going to put it through its paces, maybe do some videos while I'm doing that, so I haven't really gotten into that yet. But, the design itself is made to be a war cleaver that is also, it's a tool and a weapon. It's basically what it was made to be. And um, the original one that he made from this design has been all over the world. Um, the guy was a civilian in, I believe, Iraq at the time, but don't quote me. And um, he, I, he, I remember him doing a thing on Blade Forums that the design was all over the world. So it's just a great design, time tested. This is uh, Charlie Edmondson's officialization of the lat, uh, Matt Lamy design. So he did an absolutely phenomenal job. This is Cerakoted, and um, basically it's pretty much rust proof almost, but I'm not gonna say that, it's rust resistant, but I have never seen a Cerakote finish rust. It's like bluing a shotgun more or less so it's very uh resistant to the elements if you will really awesome blade so i had to get two of them you guys know me now i am uh, some people call me stupid some people call me awesome probably mostly stupid but that's okay can't hurt to have two of everything you know especially when it's awesome shit so, but just awesome shit. This one has a, uh, also the Cerakote finish. This is a um, Sniper Gray Makarta handle without the texturing. It's kind of have some different uh, looks, styles, feels. Weight is pretty much spot on. Um, the grind on this is he grind the whole thing down so the chopping on this is just, it's gonna be incredible. I have not had a chance to do it. I've only had them three days. And I've been working all weekend, so I took Monday off, so. 
but just incredible. I mean, they're like small, um, almost like small butterfly swords. Best way I can describe it. You know, I mean, that's really what it is. You could do two very easily. I'd say you have to, obviously, but you could. You could do one just as easily. I mean, just really great weapons. You feel really good in the hand using both. Certainly using one is fine. Um, we're doing some leather sheaths for them as we speak, so I don't have a sheath to show you and review. Also doing a Kydex one, so it should be really awesome when it gets all done. But I want to do a quick review to just show the blades off, show the quality. I mean, it's just top notch. Can't say enough good things about the blades themselves, about the maker himself. Um, uh, I'm not sure if he's taking orders currently, but I know the wait time in these were a couple months. No big deal. He said they were going to be done, and by God, they were done. <sighs> Gotta love a guy like that. You know, he's like, these are going to be done. I'm going to finish them, and he did. And I respect the hell out of that. You know, not say I don't mind waiting two, three, four, five, eight years in certain cases, but you know, he's awesome, <laughs> great guy. Uh, so I can't say enough good things. I highly recommend his work. Highly recommend him as a blade maker. You will not be disappointed. I'm gonna put a link to his Facebook page, uh, Edmondson Elite. Uh, his actual symbol is a, it's basically like a Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. Um, and then you have the Edmondson Elite thing there. Not sure if you can see that or not, but pretty sweet. That's his uh, symbol, if you will. Just a great product. Um, he does some smaller bowies for a lot of guys like smaller stuff. Hunters, skinners, fighters. Just, it's great shit. I mean, guy's awesome. I mean, you'll see. Join the page. You'll love it. Promise. Great guy. So, sorry, I've been over cold, so... For the raspiness comes in. So really awesome blade, you know. Hopefully gonna be one of my new go-to blades. I feel that way. In three days, I got home after work. I hadn't really been able to put these down, because that says a lot. Obviously, you guys know I have a lot of options, and quickly becoming my favorite. So. absolutely love it. I mean, it just feels really good in the hand. I got bought with medium sized hands. So just incredible. I mean, his edge is nothing to screw around about. I mean, seriously. There you go. Not sure if you guys saw that or not, but that shaving sharp, That's shaving sharp, so just badass shit, guy's great. So if you guys have any questions, it's one of my more informal reviews because I'm just fucking exhausted. Just getting over cold, worked all week. But I wanted to show these because seriously, it's, you know, I've shown a lot of stuff that I really like and makers I really like, trying to get them in the spotlight a little bit. This gentleman is top notch, one of the better guys in this industry, I can safely say customer service is 140%. You know, I'd give it more if I could, 140%. The dude is awesome. Can't say enough good things. I mean, honestly. Um, I know I said that about a few different people. And I mean it. You know, every time I say it, I do mean it. But he really is a great guy. Um, so, makes a great product. You will not be disappointed. And I promise you, if you're disappointed for whatever reason, I will buy the blade. And that is a no-brainer on my part. So check them out. I'll put the link in there. Um, I plan to do more reviews. Just have to get the time. I got a couple things going on that I'm working on reviewing. Uh, John Gage there. Reviewing that. Steve Musgrove. The Dow above that. So a couple other cheaper swords I want to get to review. Something I'm getting done. A lot of different stuff. So, just been busy. But this was my, uh, what I was focusing on for now to review. And it is absolutely incredible. Highly recommend. We'll talk to you guys later. Um, have a great 
and happy and safe Christmas.